Munani and welcome to another day of amazing right here on www.nationalartsfestival.co.za. Don't forget the hashtags to follow our hashtag. We're still creating hashtag finding amazing everywhere. You know Lana Seitan Dizindo. We always like to keep you inundated with what's happening in the arts and entertainment space right here on the virtual National Arts Festival. But the thing is, I have to be in conversation with the Standard Bank Young Artist Award winner by the name of Uplessing Goben. Uplessing is the visual arts winner for this year. Blessing, I have to start with the creative process behind chaotic pleasure. Basically, my crea uh, creation process is more of like uh, having a dialogue with the current uh, situation, um, the current affairs, uh, where at some point I call it uh, a dialogue with a, di a, a blank canvas where you, you have ideas that you need to find somebody to talk to who can advise you but for me i think the canvas become uh, a person that i create a dialogue with because uh the canvas is the one that at, at the end of the day would carry um that masterpiece to every every places around the world so you are the standard bank young artist award winner tell me about your thinking process leading up to it because i'm assuming you had a lot of expectation COVID comes things kind of had to change of how you think you're going to execute your work when i got a message that i i, I won it i had you know I, I i i was excited the world is not is not designed the way we want but the nature can take form you know, and uh, change uh, how we're living and how we're thinking. So the most important thing is to keep thinking and keep contributing with great ideas that can uh, benefit the art landscapes, you know. So to be part of this uh, Standard Bank uh, artist, of, Young Artist of the Year, for me, uh, it's a yeah, it's a great thing. I'm happy. I'm excited. I love that. I love that. Thank you so much, Blessing, for your time. You can, of course, catch a Blessing, who's going to be part of the Standard Bank offering in terms of the visual arts as the official Standard Bank Young Artist Award winner. You can see he's still hashtag creating, man, and he's absolutely creating work that is amazing, work that is true, work that is honest, but most importantly, work that is reflective of society. Ah, Sipo, what an interesting time to be alive and what an interesting time to create. But more specifically for you, what a time to remember an amazing um, anti-apartheid politician in South Africa. Indeed. Um, if there is any person who still needs to be honoured, it's Oliver Tambo. And we find ourselves privileged to be able to use his memory to conscientise our community, especially um, young people. Our our main focus is in paying tribute to many leaders. He just happens to be an anchor that joins many of them. He was the most popular leader who led the ANC for a long time. And almost everybody has positive things to say about him. You're trying to connect history and the present time, and those are two different dynamics. So tell us about that process as a producer to try and assimilate this for this virtual platform. In fact, uh, the fact the fact that Oliver Tambo, the Oliver Tambo story is directed at young people. When it is acted by young people, you can immediately see the impact. So the impact of the message is observed at the rehearsals, even before it is put out into the world. Thank you so much, Sipo. So everyone at home has to definitely watch the show. And I love that it's on the Fringe program, which also means that 90% of the proceeds go specifically towards the production itself. Please come and, uh, I mean, buy these virtual uh, tickets and watch our production. And let's talk about the future. So now we're going to be heading to the poetry corner of the National Arts Festival, Skuluma no Tiken Lugu. Also, Vesh Jai Luguti, what is Giving Poetry Wings all about? I take it it's about, I guess, developing ideas beyond just the paper. Um, it's just about, you know, finding different ways to share poetry in different disciplines, basically. Tell us about, I guess, the digital and the virtual angle that had to be taken because it's one thing to say poetry on stage, but it's another thing to utilize the power or to use the digital resources to galvanize the poetry that's already set. What are the strategies that you guys have in place coming up with this idea? So basically, I think the first one is obviously we have a workshop beforehand and this allows the poets to work 
and collaborate with the digital artists. Uh, it's going to be online this time, but you know, still, uh, we're hoping that it's going to be definitely something worthwhile for the poets because they get to network, they get to see the process behind creating augmented reality artworks. Um, another key thing is that they've also been able to really see the different ways in which poetry can then be expressed. So now we're having a virtual exhibition. Last year we had an exhibition where we were able to print and people were able to come and see and scan. This time at least it's opened to the audience or to a wider audience. So yeah, this is basically shifting or moving a physical exhibition onto a virtual space, but still allowing people to still be able to engage with the work. But I know for a fact that we'll be seeing you throughout the 11 days of amazing. So we wish you well and your team well. And you know what? I'm crossing fingers for the ticket ends because I'm like, it has to correlate to the artists surviving at the end of the day. Thank you so much, TK, for your time. Ne? Thank you very much. Thank you so much for tuning in. You know very well, we always love being in your company. You can also do the same on our social media platforms. Be sure to also send us a review. Let us know what you like. But from myself and the VNF studio, we are out of here. <laughs>